Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. So this will be our 43rd part in this particular math skills test series. And what we have going on here is that we have to determine the area of the blue region shown here of this circle. And we have this little triangle ABC <clears throat> inside of the circle. So we are told a bit of information here that A to B is 16 centimeters, A to C is 14 centimeters, and B to C is 10 centimeters. So <clears throat> in order to determine that blue region, what we're going to have to do here is that we are going to have to find this yellow region shown on the left and this red on the right, because our blue will be equal to our yellow minus off our red. So if we determine our red and our yellow, we can find our blue area. Now, in order to determine the yellow area, all we need is this angle here because this is just a circle sector. So we just need to find the area of that particular sector knowing what this angle here at O is. And then <clears throat> over here at this triangle, all we need to know is this angle over here along with our radius, which we also need to know our radius over here for the circle sector as well. So in total, what we really need to find is a couple angles and our radius of our circle, then we can find that initial blue area. So let's start working on finding our radius and these angles here. All right, scrolling down to this point. So how do I find this angle here at O? this angle right here. Well, since this triangle is inscribed, I can find this angle B right here using the law of cosines. And then I can use the inscribed angle theorem. And that will tell me what angle O is if I know what angle B is. So using the inscribed angle theory, the angle of, oh, let me rewrite this real quick, the angle of A, B, C, so this angle right here, this first one right here at B, will be equal to half of the angle of A, O, C, this angle right here. So essentially this angle at O will be two times this angle at B using the inscribed angle theorem. So all we have to do is find this angle at B, then we can get the angle at O. Well, I just mentioned that the in order to get the angle at B here, we're just going to use the law of cosines because, well, we know that this is 14 centimeters here. We know that this was 16 centimeters here, and then this is 10 centimeters over here, which those dimensions were given at the start. So utilizing the law of cosines, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared, subtracting off two times AB times BC cosine of that angle B, which I'm just going to call this angle angle B. I'm just going to call this one angle O just for short writing. So <clears throat> filling in our numbers here, we would have 14 squared is equal to 16 squared plus 10 squared, subtracting off 2 times 16 times 10 times the cosine of our angle B, which is what we're looking for. So if we were to rearrange here and solve for B, we would have the cosine inverse of exactly one half, which would be 60 degrees. So this angle right here is 60 degrees. Thus using this theorem from earlier, angle O will just be two times angle B, which is two times 60 degrees, which gives me a total of 120 degrees. Alrighty, so that's my angle of 120 degrees. Now. I know that this is going to be my radius r, which, you know, I could write that as the regular radius r, lowercase. And then so o to a is r, then o to c is also r. Now, since these two sides of this triangle right here, which would be the area in red, which I'm looking for, since these two sides are equal at r, this is going to form an isosceles triangle. So that means that this angle over here will be equal to this angle over here, and well, what are those angles? Well, pretty simple to calculate since there's 180 total, subtracting off the 120 degrees, dividing by two. That means that each of those angles is exactly 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees. So a lot of information we are finding here very quickly. So how does that help me? 
Well, what I can do is that I can bisect my 14 centimeters length <clears throat> at a 90 degree angle, and I would get to write triangles here that are equal because, well, it's an isosceles triangle. You split it right down the middle. You would have seven centimeters here on this side and seven centimeters here on this side by splitting the 14 in half. <clears throat> well, I can get my R here using this right triangle, and if I want to get the area, I can also get the height of that triangle as well. So utilizing this right triangle here, what I can do is I can find my height of my triangle and my radius. So let's go ahead and let's just find the height first. So I would have tangent of 30 degrees is equal to my height over seven centimeters from my opposite over my adjacent. Thus my height of that triangle would be seven tangents of 30 degrees, which equals seven square roots of three over three centimeters. Such a nice number. So then if I want to find my radius utilizing that same triangle, I can go cosine of 30 degrees is equal to seven centimeters over my radius from my adjacent over my hypotenuse for the right triangle. Thus, my radius is going to be equal to seven divided by the cosine of 30, which of course, once again, a very nice number of 14 square roots of three over three centimeters. So basically twice the height. <clears throat> so now that I have my radius, I have my height of my triangle, I can get a lot of information, including this angle over here with O. So let's work on getting our two areas that we need, which is the red triangle, and the yellow circle sector area. All right, so let's just go ahead and let's do the red triangle area first. Well, this would just be one half times my base, which if I can scroll back up a little bit, one half times my base, which the total base of this triangle is 14 centimeters, times the height, which I just found was seven square roots of three over three centimeters. So it's gonna be one half times 14 centimeters times seven square roots of three over three for my height centimeters. And just rounding off the area here, we get 28.29 centimeters squared. Alrighty. So then let's work on getting the yellow, which I'm not gonna write in yellow because yellow is a very hard color to write in on this one. You can hardly see it. So we're just gonna do it in black. So the yellow sector area or my circle sector area is just going to utilize my angle O of 120 degrees and my radius of 14 square roots of 3 over 3. So this would just be my circle sector degrees. So how much do I actually have here? Well, I have 120 degrees here out of 360. So that's my portion of my area. So it'd be 120 degrees over 360 degrees times pi r squared. Well, that's just 120 over 360 times pi times 14 square roots of three over three squared. And that gives me 68.42 centimeters squared for my yellow area. And thus, as I showed before, the blue area, which we are looking for, is just going to be that yellow area subtracting off my red area. So it's gonna be 68.42 centimeters squared, subtracting off 28 0.29 centimeters squared, and that gives me 40.13 centimeters squared as a rounded off answer to this particular question. And that's one way in which you could solve this problem. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned a new math skill along the way. And if you want to test your abilities even further, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all of that does assist us. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.